regular life, we are usually confronted with situations that address relationships of numerous quantities. Some of the examples are the relationships among the wide variety of hours to complete the job and the number of persons working. It will take a shorter period of time for the ice to melt in a hot day that it will on the cold day, and the time taken by a car that travels uniformly at various speeds. In this module, you will discover the relationship among quantities. After going through this module, you are expected to explore and demonstrate understanding of key concepts and variations and to use these concepts to solve real-life problems. Furthermore, you will learn how a change in one quantity could correspond to a predictable change in the other. So, are you now ready? Alright, so let's get started. Let's have now the situation. So from the situation, Michael wants to have an extension of his house. He clearly knows that the number of days to finish the work depends on the number of workers. Some possible number of days and number of workers are as follows. So let N be the number of workers and D be, no be the number of days. Let's take a look with this table. The number of workers represented by N you have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 16. While the number of days represented by D you have there, 24, 12, 8, 6, and 3. So let us be guided with this question. How do the number of workers and the number of days affect each other? Hmm? Have you noticed something with regards to the number of workers to the number of days? From 2 to 16 and the number of days from 24 down to 3 as the number of workers increases from 2 to 16 the number of days decreases from 24 to 3 so as the number of workers increases the number of days decreases okay now is there a constant number involved what mathematical operation did you apply all right. Haven't you noticed that when you're going to multiply 2 and 24, you will get 48? 4 and 12 as well. We'll have 48. 6 and 8. 8 and 6. 16 and 3. That is the constant number, which is 48. Now, the mathematical sentence or equation describing the relation is you would have n is equal to 48 over d or the number of workers is equal to 48 divided by the number of days how do we call that kind of variation and that is now what we call inverse variation what is an inverse variation inverse variation occurs when one quantity is equal to constant times the inverse of the other quantity okay this can be expressed into mathematical statement or equation as y is equal to k over x and x times y is equal to k where k is the constant of variation and x is the non-zero real numbers so always remember that your x should not be equal to zero these statements can be y varies inversely as x, y is inversely proportional to x. These statements mean that for two quantities, let's say the x and y, an increase in x causes a decrease in y. Similarly, a decrease in x causes an increase in y. So meaning to say, if one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases, just like in our illustration. So, if one quantity decreases, the other quantity will also increases. So, let's take for example, 
Letter A, we have to translate the following statements to equation. Number one, x is inversely proportional to y. That could be represented by x is equal to k over y, where k is equal to x times y. Applying cross-multiplication uh, cross property of equality, that could be uh, k is equal to x times y. Second, the force F needed to break a board bars inversely with the length L of the board. That could be represented by F is equal to K over L, where K is equal to F times L. Number three, the time T required to empty a tank bars inversely as the rate R of pumping. Okay, T is equal to K over R where k is equal to t times r. So, let us study more examples. Are you ready? Let's go. Solve the following. If y varies directly as x, and y is equal to 3 when x is 2, find the constant of variation and the equation. Okay? So, here is our solution. To find the constant of the variation, you have first to translate the statement y varies inversely as x into equation. Okay, that's why you have it here. y is equal to k over x. Then, you may replace y with 3 and x with 2. That's why you have it there on your left. 3 is equal to k over 2. Then multiply both sides by 2. Therefore, you would have 2 times 3 is equal to k over 2 times 2. That is applying multiplication property of equality or MPE. So when you simplify, our k value therefore is equal to 6. So you have it there already the constant of the variation which is 6. Using the constant of the variation in finding our equation. So, going back it again, you have to translate y varies inversely as x into equation which is y is equal to k over x. Then you may use the k value which is 6 in our translated equation. That's why y is equal to 6 over x and as you simplify you'll be looking for uh, uh, the equation therefore you would have y is equal to 6 over x or you could have x times y is equal to 6 that is now the equation of the variation in problem number one okay so let's proceed to the second problem suppose a bar uh, i mean suppose a varies inversely with b when b is equal to 4 and a is equal to 1 half find a when b is equal to 18 don't be confused that is just very easy it's just only a number i'm sure you're thinking of the fraction okay don't you worry about it Alright, so to find it out, find the constant of the variation. Well, of course, our first step, you have to translate the statement A varies inversely with B. Okay, so you have it there, A is equal to K over B. Then, you may now replace A with the value of 1 half and B with 4. So you have it there. 1 half is equal to K over Four. In that case, you may now multiply both sides by 4, applying MPE. So that's why you have 4 times 1 half is equal to K over 4 times 4. Therefore, as we simplify, the constant of the variation or the K value is equal to 2. You got it? Okay. Now, to find A when B is equal to 18, you may still have to make use of our equation. 
with of course our constant of variation which is equal to 2. Okay, so from there, you can formulate our equation that is uh, A is equal to uh, K over B, wherein our K value is 2 and our B is 18. So that's why in the third step, you have there, as we replace B with 18, you would have A is equal to 2 over 18. Then simplify, you would have therefore, uh, simplest form of 2 over 18, divisible by 2, so therefore you would have 1 over 9, reduced to lowest term. So the value of our A therefore is equal to 1 over 9. You got it? That's good. Okay, so in that case, a proportion can be used in relation to direct variation, indirect rather. In solving problems where some quantities are known, what does it mean? We can use proportion, the idea of proportion here. So let's take a look with our second solution. Still, we have our problem, suppose A varies inversely with B, when B is equal to 4, A is equal to 1 half, we are asked to find A when B is equal to 18. Okay. So in that case, you could use X sub 1 times Y sub 1 is equal to K. That's the first, the first one, equation. And X sub 2 times Y sub 2 is equal to K. Since K is equal to K from first equation to the second equation, therefore you can equate x sub 1 times y sub 1 is equal to x sub 2 times y sub 2. Okay? So, you could use dividing each side by y sub 1 times y sub 2. Therefore, you could have therefore x sub 1 over y sub 1 is equal to x sub 2 over y sub 1. Just remember, because A and B are inversely proportional. So in that case, from our problem, you could have therefore, uh, the first uh, case, you would have A sub 1 times B sub 1 is equal to A sub 2 times B sub 2. So substitution, you would have it therefore, remember that A sub 1 is 1 half and B sub 1 is 4. Our B sub 2 is 18 and we're looking for A sub 2. Okay, substitute that one to our proportion. So, A is 1 half right here. Okay, this one. 1 half times 4, which is our B sub 1, is equal to A sub 2, which is the unknown, times 18. So, simplify 1 half and 4, you would have therefore 2. Okay, is equal to A sub 2 times 18. Dividing both sides by 18, you would have, therefore, A sub 2 is equal to 1 over 9. Is that clear now? Okay. So, very easy. Uh, it could be you will just simply multiply 4 times 1 half, this one. 4 times 1 half, that's the first equation. Then, is equated to A times 18 or 18A. 18 so divide both sides by 18, therefore you would have 1 over 9. Clear now. Okay, so let's now have number 3. The graph shows the time in hours taken by a car that travels uniformly from Iligan to Butuan at various speeds in kilometer per hour. Find the constant of variation and equation which describes the relation. So let's take a look with our illustration here, our graph. So we have here the point 4 and 30. We could also have 3 and 40 and so on and so forth. So to solve, you would have therefore to find the constant of variation. Of course, you have to translate statement T varies inversely as V into equation. That's why we have here. Um, T is equal to K, this one, K over V. Then you may now replace T with 30 and B with 4. So that's why you have 30 is equal to K over 4. 
and simplifying using multiplication property of equality or simply multiply both sides by 4 so that's why therefore when we simplify k therefore is equal to 120 using that k equals 120 to find the equation okay so using again the translated statement into an equation t is equal to k over v you would have to substitute the value of our k which is 120 so t is equal to 120 over v or you could have t times v is equal to 120 that is the equation of variation is that clear now all right so let's have now the exercises so from our exercises a express each of the following statements as a mathematical equation so i'll be giving you five seconds to answer okay is that right okay so let's have number one atmospheric pressure varies inversely as the altitude ready go The correct answer is P is equal to K over H or K is equal to PH. Is that clear? Number two, the number of persons needed to do a job varies in versus the number of days to finish the job. Go. And the correct answer is N is equal to K over D or the constant of the variation would gonna be k is equal to n times d. Okay, number three. The time required to travel a given fixed distance is inversely proportional to the speed. Go. And the correct answer is t is equal to k over r or k is equal to t r. Number four. The length of a rectangular field varies inversely as its width. Go. And the correct answer is L is equal to K over W or K is equal to LW. Alright, so let's have number 5. The cost, uh, the cost C for persons of renting a private resort Varies inversely as the number n of persons sharing the rent. Go. And the correct answer is C is equal to K over N or K is equal to CN. Let's now proceed with second exercises. Find the constant of variation and the equation of the following relation presented below of course okay so let's have number one two three four five i'll be giving you uh, there are five questions so i'll be giving you uh, 25 seconds to answer is that okay that's very easy Okay, what you need to do is you are going to find the constant of the variation and the equation of the variation, of course. That's very easy. Alright, so 25 seconds starts now. Okay, so let us now check our answers. Okay, for number one, the correct answer is x is equal to k over y, where our constant of the variation is 2. How did you get 2? You just simply have to multiply x and y. 1 times 2 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. 
3 times 2 over 3, that will give you 2. 4 times 1 half, that would be 2. Or simply you could have the constant of the variation is really equal to 2. Okay, number 2. M is equal to K over N or K is equal to 72. Okay, how did you get 72? 2 times 36, 72. 4 times 18, 72. 6 times 12, still you would have 72. That's very easy. Okay, number 3. Alright, so A is equal to K over B or our K value therefore is equal to 5. So multiply 7 times 5 over 7, still we'll get 5. 5 times 1, 5, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's now have number 4. So right here, the correct answer is L is equal to K over W, or our K value is 12. How did you get 12? So you have here our first point, you have 2 and 6. So multiply 6 times 2, that would give you 12. Right here, we also have... 3 and 4. So multiply, that will still give you 12. Now, how about number 5? Let's check. Uh, the, uh, the, the point here, we have 1 and 4. So 1 times 4, that will give us 4. Okay, so 2 and 2, so you would have 4. So possible, the k value is equal to 4. Are we correct? So let's check. So y is equal to k over x. That's correct. So we have K is equal to 4. That's very good. Congratulations. Okay, let's move on with our next exercises. So, solve the following. Okay, so problem number 1. If Y varies inversely as X and Y is equal to 48, when X is equal to 10, find Y when X is equal to 32. This is very easy. I'll be giving you only... Uh, 10 seconds to answer because that is very easy. Ready? Go! And the correct answer is we have y is equal to 15. How did you get 15? Simple, you could use uh, use the principle of proportion. You would have y times x, then divide that one. So you have 48 times 10, you would have 410 divided by 32. That would give you 15. Okay, so let's proceed to number 2. If r varies inversely as the cube of s and r is equal to 17 when s is 3, find r when s is 2. Okay, go. The correct answer is 25.5. Okay, number three. Two college students decided to rent an apartment near the school where they are studying. The nearest and cheapest apartment cost 5,000 pesos a month, which they find too much for their monthly budget. How many students will they need to share the rent with so that each will pay only 1250 a month. Okay, ready? Go! 10 seconds. Alright, so the correct answer is... Eight students. They need eight students, including themselves, for them to have a counterpart of 1,250 a month. Okay, so let's now proceed to number four. At 60 kilometers per hour, it takes Luida 10 hours to travel from her house to their house in the province. How long will it take her if she travels at 80 kilometers an hour? Hmm? Go! Go! 
Okay, so the correct answer is 7.5. You got it right. Congratulations once again. So you are now really ready for the next activity. Oh, you have here the performance test. Okay, for you to do that one, you will have an experiment time with the directions. Number one, prepare two blocks of an ice cube. Okay, number two, take the melting time of an ice cube under the heat of the sun. Then, while the other cube be done inside your room. Okay. Make a table of difference. Document your activity output. Okay. So, please always have that one and have these guide questions for you. Okay. Take note of this. What have you noticed to the eyes when exposed outdoor? Number two. How do the temperature of the surrounding relate to the size of the block of ice? Number three, does the change in one quantity affect the other quantity? Okay, so this would gonna be the performance task rubric uh, for grading. So the data quality and data analysis. If you want to get 10 points as a perfect score, all data was complete and accurately labeled using appropriate units of measure. And identify and describe trends and made appropriate conclusion based on the data. If you don't like to have that 10 points, if you're not able to hit the perfect score, you could still have another points which is 8, 6, and 4. You have it there already. All right, so let's move on to post-test. We had our multiple choice. Read each item carefully. You will just simply choose the letter of the correct answer. Okay, so numbers from 1 up to 10. By the way, you will just simply comment your answers in the chat box below, right here. Okay? So comment your answers in the chat box below. So for number 1, 2, 3, to 10, you just simply have to choose the letter only. Is that clear? Okay, so let's now have the next page. So that is 7 to 10. Okay, so is that clear now? Okay, so... Thank you for listening and keep safe everyone. God bless.